Ever caught wind of a crime drama that took the television world by storm in 1959? Enter The Untouchables, a show that thrust viewers into the gritty world of Prohibition-era Chicago. Imagine this Elliot Ness, the fearless leader, assembles a team to take down the notorious Al Capone and his gang. But here's the kicker, this show isn't just about catching bad guys. It's packed with funny moments that'll have you laughing, shocking twists that'll leave you on the edge of your seat, and poignant scenes that might even bring a tear to your eye. Do you have a special memory tied to this classic series? Or has it influenced your life in a surprising way? We're eager to hear your stories, so keep reading for some facts about The Untouchables. Trust us, you won't want to miss this. So, what's your most personal experience related to this show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, we can't wait to hear from you. Keep watching for more insights into The Untouchables. The Untouchables, a TV series from 1959, holds a special place in American television history. Some argue it kickstarted the golden age of television in the United States alongside Bonanza in the 1959-60 season. When shown in syndication in 1967, it hooked audiences, creating a late-night fan base. The black and white style and gritty atmosphere made the show unique. The music added depth, setting it apart from more recent adaptations. Some prefer the earlier 60s series, claiming it had elements like a morality play, stirring emotions newer, more ambiguous adaptations failed to capture. However, some criticize the show's portrayal of violence. While not against violence in moderation, some viewers note The Untouchables depicted violence without the expected horror. Watching episodes in the 1990s, the trivialization of violent scenes becomes apparent. Even point-blank firearm shots are comically muted with no hint of flying blood. This reflects the discreet approach required in television productions of that era. Despite this concern, the show left a lasting impact on television history. The series, along with a few spin-off made-for-TV movies in the 1960s, remains a glimpse into the storytelling of that time. While specific details about these movies may elude some, titles like The Gun of Zangare evoke a sense of nostalgia. Looking back, The Untouchable stands as a cornerstone of television's golden age, offering a glimpse into the storytelling of its time. Its influence resonates, showcasing a unique blend of elements that contributed to its lasting legacy. In a surprising turn of events, a key figure linked to The Untouchables had an unexpected encounter with the Wild West in the late 60s. Tom Weaver's book, Wild Wild Westerners, features an interview with a significant player from the series, shedding light on their involvement in the movie The Scalfunters. This unexpected twist in the actor's career adds diversity to their journey. Away from the intense stories of Prohibition-era Chicago, one cast member's personal life took a different direction in 1949. During the radio era of Pepper Young's family, the actor DeSantis crossed paths with actress Margaret Draper, resulting in marriage. A son, Christopher, joined their family before their marriage ended in 1956. The move to Southern California marked a crucial moment, leading DeSantis to explore TV and film roles beyond radio drama. Expanding beyond the small screen, The Untouchables left a significant impact on the film world, with one of its actors appearing in four films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. From the gripping anatomy of a murder to the classic Jaws, the actor's cinematic journey mirrored the show's influence going beyond television. As the series continues to shape its legacy, viewers reminisce about its portrayal of violence. Critics highlight a distinct approach to violent scenes, with even close-range firearm shots taking on a comically muted tone lacking the expected horror. This peculiar style reflects the production norms of the time, challenging modern expectations and emphasizing the unique characteristics of the untouchables. Despite critiques, the series remains a cornerstone of television's golden age. Its influence endures through the lens of nostalgia, providing a glimpse into a bygone era of storytelling. Spin-offs like The Gun of Zangara evoke a time when made-for-TV movies carried a sense of familiarity and charm. The Untouchables, with its gritty black and white allure, stands as a captivating chapter in television history, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment landscape. Debuting on television in 1959, The Untouchables made a significant impact on American TV. Alongside Bonanza, it is often credited with ushering in the golden age of television. The series, set in Prohibition-era Chicago, became popular for its black and white style and gripping storyline. It found a new fan base when syndicated in 1967, creating a late-night following. But the influence of the show goes beyond television. 
A key character from The Untouchables, known for fighting Chicago's crime, surprised everyone in the late 60s by venturing into the Wild West in the movie The Scalfunters, one of the cast members, DeSantis, went through a life change in 1949. While involved in the radio era of Pepper Young's family, DeSantis, now part of The Untouchables, crossed paths with actress Margaret Draper, leading to marriage. Despite the marriage ending in 1956, the move to Southern California marked a turning point, propelling DeSantis into roles in TV and film. The show's impact extended to the film world, with an actor from The Untouchables appearing in three Best Picture Academy Award winners Gentleman's Agreement, All the King's Men, and The Greatest Show on Earth. Beyond television, the actor's cinematic journey mirrored the show's influence. In a surprising turn of events, Ted Lang and Loretta Swit, former co-stars of The Love Boat, attended Gavin's book signing in 2014, marking the largest event at Barnes & Noble in three years. This showcased a different side of the actor's career. While critics note the unique approach to violent scenes in The Untouchables, it reflects the production norms of its time, challenging modern expectations. The series, with its gritty allure, stands as a captivating chapter in television history, offering a unique glimpse into a bygone era of storytelling. Spin-offs like The Gun of Zangara evoke a sense of nostalgia, carrying the charm of made-for-TV movies. The Untouchables endures, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment landscape. Premiering on TV in 1959, a crime drama set in Prohibition-era Chicago made a significant impact on American television. Alongside Bonanza, it is credited with initiating the golden age of TV. The black and white style and gripping storyline gained a dedicated late night fan base when it was syndicated in 1967. A notable character from the series, famous for fighting crime in Chicago, took an unexpected turn in the late 60s, venturing into the Wild West in the Scalfunters. Additionally, one of the cast members, DeSantis, underwent a significant life change in 1949. Initially involved in the radio era of Pepper Young's family, DeSantis, now part of this series, crossed paths with actress Margaret Draper, leading to marriage. Despite their separation in 1956, the move to Southern California propelled DeSantis into diverse roles in TV and film. The show's influence extended beyond television, with an actor from it appearing in three Best Picture Academy Award winners Gentleman's Agreement, All the King's Men, and The Greatest Show on Earth. This cinematic journey mirrored the series' impact, offering a broader perspective on its lasting legacy. In a surprising twist, former co-stars of The Love Boat, Ted Lang and Loretta Swit, attended Gavin's book signing in 2014, marking a significant event at Barnes & Noble. This showcased a different facet of the actor's career and highlighted the lasting connections forged in the world of entertainment critics have noted the unique approach to violent scenes in the series, reflecting the production norms of its time. While this has sparked debate, it underscores the show's distinct characteristics, challenging modern expectations. The gritty allure stands as a captivating chapter in television history, offering a unique glimpse into a bygone era of storytelling. Spin-offs like The Gun of Zangara evoke a sense of nostalgia, carrying the charm of made-for-TV movies. The show endures, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment landscape, and its impact continues through the lens of nostalgia.